Fun fact, when I was a little kid, I thought King Ghidorah's name was Kinky Dora. Yeah, I realize now how weird that is. Welcome back to Villain Review, episode 42. Today I will be looking at King Ghidorah from the 2019 film Godzilla King of the Monsters. Shout out real quick to Michael Dorsey for the recommendation and comment below who I should review next. That being said, let's get into it. Oh, shit. King Ghidorah is a villain who didn't really need any origins but was given some nonetheless. We learn some interesting things about the Titan, and he's that much better because of it. Opposed to many of the other big titans in this monsterverse, King Ghidorah actually came from space. That wizard came from the moon. In ancient times, when titans like Godzilla, Rodan, and a few others roamed the world, King Ghidorah came down from space and immediately established itself as a rival to Godzilla. What up, nerds? I'm Ghidorah. We're Ghidorah. Who's in charge around here? Oh, hello. Well, my name's Rodan. Welcome to Earth. And you're gonna want to talk to Godzilla. Okay, well, I'm gonna kill Godzilla, and then I'm gonna be in charge. But he's Godzilla. Okay, yeah, well, I have three heads. Okay, well, so does that spaced out palm tree looking Pokemon, but I don't think he can kill Godzilla. Well, I also have gravity beams. Yeah, but his is blue. Okay, yeah, well, mine's yellow. But, but blue. After fighting many times for the title of Alpha, King Ghidorah gets frozen in ice for a really long time until he's eventually thawed out by Mrs. Warren and Tywin Lannister. With the title of Alpha up for grabs, King Ghidorah decides it's time for a rematch. This is another category that I'm even surprised I have stuff to talk about. It would be so easy to make Ghidorah just this big dumb monster, but I'm actually surprised at how much personality it has. You know that meme that's been thrown out a lot with like, the two heads and the really dumb one? Well it's actually kind of accurate. Each head has its own personality, and one head is clearly dumber and less focused than the others. It's easy to see that the middle head is definitely in charge, and each head goes about situations differently. Some are aggressive and vicious, while others are more standoffish and cautious. It's a really nice touch, and I'm just personally happy that it was added. As far as motivation goes, I also think it perfectly makes sense what King Ghidorah wants to accomplish. There's nothing fancy about it, right? King Ghidorah wasn't like bullied by Godzilla. Godzilla wasn't robbing this kid of his lunch money or anything like that. It's just an animal fighting for an alpha spot. I totally believe that King Ghidorah can rival Godzilla also. Like, let's be honest here. Like. Between you and me, he's honestly probably a little stronger, I think. But Ghidorah is also really intimidating and works for a great villain for Godzilla to go up against. For a big monster that's just fighting another one at the end of the day, I'm actually pretty happy with how much character Ghidorah has. For anyone who saw this movie, I think we can all agree that the human stuff is a little bit really boring. As for the kaiju stuff though, we got some really cool scenes, and Ghidorah is no exception with my personal favorite being the character's actual introduction itself. This scene serves as such a cool introduction because we get so many cool things in just one scene. The introduction itself is awesome, and we get to see Ghidorah up close while also getting this full big scale of the creature. Ghidorah is painted as this evil being that just goes out of its way to kill soldiers just for fun. Like, it doesn't need to kill these soldiers, it's this giant dragon three-headed thing. But no, he has to go out of his way to kill every single soldier, and that is really messed up. The lighting is also really cool with those yellow lightning strikes and those big silhouettes. It's one of my favorite Ghidorah scenes, and in all honesty, I think they're all pretty good. All in all, Ghidorah has some awesome scenes, and I for one really like how it's portrayed in this movie. 
I really enjoyed the fact that Ghidorah has both origins and character when it would have been so easy to just ignore. Without these two things, honestly, Ghidorah would be like a 4 or a 5 in my opinion. But with an interesting backstory, an actual character to make it stand out from the other kaiju, Ghidorah makes itself worthy of being a really good Godzilla villain. I'm gonna give Ghidorah, this one's tough, not gonna lie, a 7. Thanks so much for watching, don't forget to comment below who I should review next and what you think of King Ghidorah. Video over.